Here's our video tutorial to go over the notes on greatest common factor and least common multiple, how to find those. And we're going to be experimenting using the uh, ladder method, which is not uh, gone over in the textbook, but please feel free to open up the textbook to chapters 1.5 to 1.6 and follow along with. You can try this out on their examples as well. Uh, so we're going to be using the ladder method. And the ladder method, um, in order to do that, we'll have to remember our divisibility. So you can use the divisibility notes to find common factors. And let's try an example. To, it helps to get our, um, our hands dirty and just try getting it going. So an example, find the least common multiple and greatest common factor of, we're going to try the example of 18 and 24. So 18 and 24. First, we write the two numbers next to each other and uh, a long L that will look like a ladder as we go through this. So write the numbers next to each other and a long L that will look like a ladder as we keep going. And we find a common fact or common divisor using the visibility test. And you start at the lowest one, so we'll start with two. Does two divide both 18 and 24? Yes, um, they're both even, so I'm gonna divide them by two. And I put the two over off to the left. Divide 18 by two and 24 by two. Divide both numbers, you get nine and 12. And then repeat it until um, you don't have any common factors. So do 9 and 12 have any common factors? Well, 3 divides with, uh, I don't have 2 anymore because this is odd. But we'll try 3, and 3 does go into 9, and 3 goes into 12. So I can put 3. 3 divided by, or 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now I have no common factors. So let's find our greatest common factor is multiplying the left-hand side, 2 and 3. We get 6. And then our least common multiple is multiplying all the numbers outside together. So 2 times 3 times 4. So 2 times 3 is, um, two times three is 6. Uh, and then 3 times 4 is 12, so 6 times 12 gives me 72. And that becomes my least common multiple. Let's try some more examples to get some more, um, more experience with this. The examples are to find the greatest common factor, the GCF, and least lowest common multiple um, of... 52 and 68. Those are larger numbers, and it's a good thing to try this with larger numbers because it, it really helps you more with larger numbers. Uh, so 52 and 68, I put them side to side. I look for a common factor. Well, I'm looking at 2 first, and they're both even, so I can divide by 2. And I get 26 and 34. Now I see that they're still divisible by 2. They're still even numbers, so I can uh, compare keep going with the ladder, divide by 2, I get 13, 26 divided by 2 is 13, and 34 divided by 2 gives me 17. Now uh, looking at my prime numbers, I know that 13 and 17 are prime, but I can also look at them for a while and I know that I don't have any common factors between them. So my greatest common factor is multiplying the left hand side, 2 and 2. That'd be 4. And my lowest common multiple is multiplying all these numbers together. Now this is a more difficult one for this example because it's 2 times 2 times 13 times 17. And that gives you 884. It would actually take you a little bit longer to do this. I just did it off to the side before, uh, before we did this. Now let's go on to the next example. Uh, that's 18 and 
27, finding the greatest common factor and lowest common multiple. We set them up side to side and draw our L. Now, two doesn't go into both of these, so I'm gonna try three. Uh, one plus eight is nine. I can divide that by three. Uh, two plus seven is um, nine. I can divide that by three. So I know that both of these are divisible by three. I divide three into 18, I get six. Three into 27, I get nine. And I still have three as a common factor. I can see that three goes into both of these. Three goes into six two times, and three goes into nine three times. So now my greatest common factor is three times three, which is nine. And my lowest common multiple is gonna be three times three times two times three, which becomes three times three is nine and two times three is six. So nine times six is 54. Please let me know if you have any questions. As always, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I hope you have a good day.